man, Miracle Man. He spent 17 days in a coma, and doctors were almost certain that he wouldn't live. But tonight, he is proof miracles can happen. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dory Marlin. Greg is off tonight. New at 11, he is being called a miracle, a local man given less than a 10% chance to live. He spent five weeks in St. Peter's Critical Care Unit, and tonight he's now go, going about his everyday life. Chris Gloninger has the story. Bob Schmidt doesn't remember the day which changed his life forever. In his 27 years, he's had almost perfect health, he's never smoked, and the gym was part of his daily routine. I said to her, I'll be right back. Started walking towards the locker room, and that's when I collapsed. Bob's girlfriend, Julia Palma, rushed over to him. We checked for a pulse and had no pulse, so we started to be right. He was taken to St. Peter's Hospital in Albany. It's not too often that a 27-year-old is put into the cardiac critical care unit. Bob was here for 34 days, 17 of which he was in a coma. 17 days is a long time. So the day he woke up was truly a miracle. After six days, the chances of coming out of a coma are slim to none, but the miracles didn't end there. Doctors and nurses feared he might experience brain damage. But I was just shocked, you know, and to come in and have him be looking around and interacting with people and then like getting up and walking up and down the hall. If it weren't for them, I, I don't think I would be here. He came back to St. Peter's to thank all the nurses and doctors. Bob is now back at work and his girlfriend is now an RN at the hospital. After 34 days, Bob, his family, his girlfriend, and the entire hospital all believe in miracles. Chris Cloninger, CBS 6 News, Albany. Truly an amazing story.